Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to configure Telnet using the packet tracer. So we'll be configuring the Telnet on our router. Now, I have my topology already created and my router has been, some certain configurations has been set up on it already. I've enabled DHCP pool and it has assigned IP addresses to my client computers here. So what I'll do is to enable Telnet on my router. So I'll click on my router, click enter, enable, config T, now once I'm in my router, what I'm going to do now is to go into my router interface, which is int interface gig zero slash zero. Once I'm in there, I can type in enable, enable password. So my password will be Babs B A B S, and then I will set up my IP domain name. So IP domain domain name will be let me you let me do Cisco dot com. Okay, then click on enter. Now I'll give it a username and a password. So username. I'll say admin and the password. Let me use Babs. Okay, I'll use the same Babs. Click on enter, and then now I'll go to my line line VTY. That's the virtual teletype. So I'll enable all which is with Cisco, it, it have 16. So I'll enable all, so zero to 15, okay? So this line VTY, I use for remote access to a router. That's what it does. So what I'll do is to click on enter and then set my password, which will be, let me use Babs. And then login. Enter now. The next thing I'll do is to type this command transport input telnet. So I'll be able to connect to my router using other computers. So I'll click enter and then do write. Now, let's go to our client computers, okay? Now, I want to access the router on my client's computer. So, I don't want to go to the server room to access the router. So, what I'll do is to click on my client and then go to command line. That's the command prompt. And then type telnet. And then with the IP address of the router, which is 192.168. Dot hundred dot one. Now you are required to put the password as the enable password, so which is BABS. Now I have it so enable. I need to put the password again BABS. Now config T. Now you can see I'm able to access the the router now because the line vty was 0 to 15 you can have other multiple connections to the router at the same time there are 16 multiple connections to the router at the same time so now i can change the name of the router by typing this command host name host name let me see, let me change it to r1 r1 telnet so the name of the router here is router, but now I'm changing the name to R1 Telnet. Now you can see the name has changed, right? Now let's go to the other PC to see if we can access it. So 
say tell net 192 dot one password BABS you can see the name of the router has changed so this is how you can use telnet for remote access to your router if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one